All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. I want to talk to you about something. Lucy, when was the last time you took your time to take proper care of your baby? I'm concerned because it's always about your skin, your nose, your hair. When was the last time you took a good care of your baby? Husband, do you have any idea how much I spend on my skin products? Do you? Mm. Sorry, darling. I'm not about to let this breast of mine fall down. I have breastfed her for three months. Is it not enough? If you were not ready to have a child, you should have said it. But this time, your life wouldn't be complicated. Because it seems like it's too much for you. Lucy, that girl needs you. She needs your breasts. And her mother needs to take care of herself. Hmm? It's okay now. It's okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Huh. Sylvia! Are you deaf? No, ma. Come on, carry this baby. I'm sorry, ma. Ma, I'm still washing. And my hands are cold. Will you carry this baby now? Yes, ma. Quickly! Yes, ma. What are you there for? Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. Who says? Listen, the whole place is a mess. If you are in this house now, things were not like this when Savia was around. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't compare me with that girl. Why won't I compare you, Lucy? You don't do my laundries. I don't even have clothes to wear. The baby things, they've been in the tub for, for, for days now. Bathroom is a mess. Our room is a mess. Kitchen is a mess. There are ties everywhere. It's a mess. Lucy, why now? Are you look, not look, in this house? Look, listen. Uh, I'm tired of you nagging, shouting at me. Lucy this, Lucy that, everything Lucy does wrong. At least, so you are going to change now, right? I'm leaving. What do you mean you're leaving? I you're am leaving, leaving and I am taking my baby with me. <laughs> you can leave all you want. I'm already tired. Leave. Go anywhere you want to go. But I'm not allowing you to take this child away. Okay, no problem. You can take care of where you stay. You want to take I am still you leaving. Lucy, leave all you want, yeah? You are even happy that I said, don't, don't, don't take my take child. Take care of her. I will take care of her. What kind of person are you? All right, guys, so on this one, Diary of a Lazy Woman. Let me start by saying this. There's a difference between wanting to get married and wanting to be a wife. Now, Wanting to be a wife entails a lot. First, it entails being ready for motherhood. Being ready for a family. It's more like you are now ready to stop using I and start using we. Being a wife is a whole lot of things. And the biggest sacrifice of that all is being ready to stop thinking about just yourself or even thinking about yourself at all but looking at the bigger picture the family unit what the family needs what the family can not do without what the family deserves you know being a wife is putting your own needs on the back burner and sacrificing yourself for both the kids that you have and the ones unborn it's the time that people start looking at how can they ensure that this family stays on that's when you start seeing men that instead of just wanting a woman that's flashy they want somebody that fully understands the assignment that fully understands that the family unit needs more than just beauty. More fact, they don't even need beauty. What they need is a lady that could stand up and manage the house. Now, on the other side, we have people that just want to get married. Wanting to get married is more like for the glam. You just want to show off a ring. You just want to 
tell your friends that uh, you have got there. I don't even know how getting there these days uh, equates to anything because as far as I'm concerned, you know, getting married is not an accomplishment. Now, staying in a home that's happy and full of love, that could be considered an accomplishment. But the marriage itself is not an accomplishment. I want to employ both guys and ladies to look at this from the right perspective. You see, many a time we are stuck with what society expects for us. Oh, I need to get married by this age or I need to, you know, if it's a guy, I need to make money. I'm getting old. I got to get married or, you know, you know, one thing or another that the society, that the society has kind of structured our thinking to believe that's what it's about. You have to be ready for marriage because it's more than just being committed to somebody. It's more than just not cheating on your partner. It's being selfless. It's being selfless. It's being committed to the greater good of the union. That includes the family unit. You know, that's why when you see when these things are happening, it's easy for you to look at somebody and be like, oh man, since she got married, she looks, you know, unkept or maybe she looks tattered or she doesn't you know do her hair every weekend yeah sometimes these things are because they have put the need of the family ahead of their own need and it happens in different things it happens for guys it happens for girls you know guys get to give up a lot of things uh, you know, and start thinking about the welfare of the family. If he's used to buying shoes every weekend, maybe all of a sudden now he got to start saving that money because the baby needs milk or the baby needs diaper. Or even if the baby is not there yet, they, they still have to plan in advance for this. That's what it takes to be a wife and a husband. It takes more than just posting pictures on social media it takes more than you know flinging the ring to your friends or calling a bunch of people to do a shabby all that stuff is for the glam the real work starts when you start building the family anytime you see a man and a wife that doesn't align on this there's bound to be problems. As you can see in that movie, she's busy worrying about her breast and, you know, is it standing or is it sitting? But, you know, the truth is that she should be more focused on how the baby would be faring if she stops breastfeeding, you know, because those breasts are no longer for you. They are now for the kids. The breast milk for the kills. That's what it was made for. That's what it was made for. So that's all I have for this one, guys. You know, if you love this kind of, you know, discussions, please, you know, like, share, follow, subscribe. This is CJ from McNally Studios. And as always, I'm here to deliver sense.